Hey everyone, how are you? Hope you're having a great day. So today for dinner, I'm going to be making burgers. Um, and we're having all the fixins and all of that. So I'm gonna share with you um, what I do, how I use it. Keep in mind that I am using um, ground beef. I use sirloin, which comes out to four ounces for five points, which I think is phenomenal. Um, I love it, I'm good with it. Better than a turkey burger or a chicken burger for zero points on certain days. So I plan for days like this, like I had a really pretty much low point day um, and that's why I will be having this higher point dinner. So I've got my sirloin here. I'm gonna be measuring it um, here in ounces. So everything that I'm basically doing is going to be measured on my scale. So I do have a sauce recipe that I'm gonna share with you um, and literally everything is basically um, through measurements because on certain things like mayo or ketchup or relish or things like that, you can, what I like to do is I like to scan something and then swipe up on my app to see if say uh, 15 grams is two points, just giving an, an example. Um, maybe 18 grams is still two points or maybe 20 grams is still two points. So I like to play around with that um, and make it work. So I'm gonna be doing 10 ounces total. This is going to be for hubby and I. My burger is gonna be four um, and his is going to be six. So I'm just going to weigh that out in grams. This is just a really simple um, like $10 scale from Amazon. I've got my bowl here. I don't want grams, did I say grams? I want ounces. So that's seven ounces, eight, exactly 10. I'm just gonna rinse my hand a second. Okay, what I'm going to be putting in my mixture here is just a um, drop of Worcestershire sauce, not needed, but I like it. Definitely not needed. Um, and my favorite uh, seasoning is adobo. Love that. Season that up. Okay. So I'm going to put this off to the side for a minute because you don't need to see me make the patties. Um, so now I've got my sauce here. Okay, so what I did, because I kind of measured this all out for you first, we've got some relish, ketchup, and mayo. I use regular ketchup, okay? So your points will differ if you use the sugar-free or fat-free or whatever type of um, ketchup you use. This is just my preference. I use sweet relish and I use light mayo. So I did two tablespoons of light mayo for two points, 23 grams of ketchup for one point, which honestly is a lot of ketchup. It's a nice amount. And I did 20 milliliters of relish for one point. So this total sauce is four points and it makes a nice amount. So I'm just mixing that all together. Okay, and it's gonna make like a Big Mac type of sauce, okay? So a little bit goes a long way. All right, so this sauce is four points for the whole thing, but it will be divided between hubby and I, so it'll be two points and two points. So, so far, I've got five points for my beef, and again, I just wrote everything down because I tracked everything first, I just wanted to give you guys accurate points and things like that. So I've got five points for my beef. I've got four points for my bread. I am using Martin's potato roll buns. That's what I had in the freezer. We're getting use of that. 
four points. And you know what? Those buns are delicious. They are my favorite hamburger buns. Um, so to save a point is not worth it for me. I like the good stuff. So five points for my beef. Four ounces, five points. Four points for my bread. And then um, I've got two points for my sauce. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. This will be an 11 point burger and it's what I'm having for dinner and it'll be so worth it, I promise. It's gonna be delicious. So I'm gonna mix up my meat now, get them ready into patties and I'll, um, I'll come back when I kind of assemble or maybe while I'm cooking. Okay, so what I decided to do is I decided to take the burgers um, in the ounces and then just divide it by two and we'll double stack it. So, right I've got some of my toppings going here. I've got some shredded lettuce, some fresh tomato, and cucumbers. So I measured out 28 grams of this fat free cheddar. So, I'm putting it on top. Little hard to do, little one here. Stacking them. And I still have extra for the top. Alrighty, burgers done, bread toasted, and we're gonna get ready to plate this up. Okay, so we're ready to plate up. I toasted my bread. Awesome. Just wanna make sure you're able to see. So I'm gonna do one at a time. So I'll do mine. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna put some of our special sauce. Down there. Ah, oh, that was hot. <laughs> I've got my burger there. I have additional cheese for the top of this burger. Okay, I've got my slice is of that. I've got my tomato. And I've got some shredded lettuce. Look at that. Delish. 